Hello everyone, I'm Nina and in this tutorial we will be drawing a realistic eye using colored pencils. Uh, you've been requesting tutorials with colored pencils for a long time now and here it is. So take your pencils out and let's start the tutorial. So these are my colored pencils and of course we need to choose the skin tones first. It's mostly different shades of pink and brown, uh, but of course uh, taking for example warm grey, blue, purple, yellow or black won't be a bad idea. I have a tutorial on how to draw different types of skin, you should check it out if you want to learn more. All the helpful links will be in the description. When it comes to blending the color, I will use a blender pencil or a white pencil. I also love using a white jelly roll because it's easy to create that wetness in the eye. But it's optional, it's not a problem if you don't have it. And I need an ordinary graphite pencil for sketching and an eraser. For the eye color in the iris itself, you need three shades of the color you choose. Or you can do as me and do a rainbow eye or at least uh, like a multi-color eye. Let's sketch the eye first. Take any graphite pencil you have and draw a circle. By the way, you can watch my tutorial on how to draw a perfect circle without compasses if you're having a hard time doing it now. This circle represents an eyeball. And now let's draw one more circle in the middle. It's gonna be the iris. Then goes a pupil, and the size of the pupil changes depending on light. It's big in the dark and small in the light. I also want to draw a reflection. The reflection is basically the light source. It can be a window, a lamp or the sun for example. And of course it takes a lot of different shapes. You can go creative and give it the shape of a heart for example or something like that. Now I'm going to shape the outlines of my sketch by drawing the lids and creases. The inner corner of the eye is lower than the outer corner and the tear duct is kinda sticking out of the biggest circle. I'm connecting both corners to draw the lids. Remember not to press hard on your pencil. I think I should mention that the lower lid is more shallow than the upper lid and the upper lid usually covers the top of the iris. Draw an upper crease above the lid line. You can make it more round or more angular, it's up to you. The lower crease is less visible, so I'm just uh, marking it here and there. The last step is to draw two lash lines. It's very simple, they're just uh, following the lids. I will draw the lashes in the very end. It's time to erase the guidelines now. My kneadable eraser is handling it very well. Uh, also, if you roll it over the sketch, it will take some extra graphite. It will pull it out. By 
the way guys, I have an Insta profile where I post all our kind of uh, art related pictures. I post my progress pictures there, my commissions, my art experiments, also giveaways. And uh, you are very welcome there. Check it out. So now I'm ready to color. I'm taking the lightest color I have among my skin tones, it's even called light flesh, and filling both lids. As I've already mentioned, I have a tutorial on how to draw four different types of skin and I highly recommend you to watch it. After the first layer of pencils, I'm taking uh, the one that is more pink and drawing um, what I think is more pink, obviously, the lower lash line and the tear duct. The pencil is called medium flesh, if you're curious. Actually, why don't you look at your own eye right now, observe yourself as an artist and you will definitely notice how the colors work together. The next pencil I'm taking is dark brown and I'm using it for the darkest areas and it's mostly the crease. Hey. And now I'm starting to switch between this pencil and just drawing the skin. The area right under the crease is always darker, so I'm mostly using different types of brown and blending the pencils when I feel it's a little too grainy. As I said, it's totally okay to use blue and purple colors as well, because the skin is very thin in some places and you can see the vessels under your skin and um, they give it some uh, cool, uh, meaning cold, undertones. Uh, it's very visible under our, our eyes and uh, next to the tear duct. Hello to everyone who's struggling with dark circles. Hey. 
So now you can see that the skin starts looking more and more realistic. I'm shading the upper lash line as well because uh, the lashes itself cast shadows. The tear duct is usually a little more pink and the center of it is lighter because it's not flat, you know? Let's move to the inside of the eye now. Using a warm grey pencil, I'm filling in everything but the iris. I think you can uh, use a hard graphite pencil if you don't have a colored one uh, that is grey. By taking a darker grey, I'm shading the inner and outer corners. And the skin too, actually, because sometimes I can feel um, I'm lacking more shadows and because, because those pencils are warm grey, it can really make a difference. So this is how the drawing looks so far and let's move to the most interesting part, to the iris. I was thinking of what color should it be and then Jonathan was like, why don't you make brown, green and blue at the same time? And I was like, oh my god, that's brilliant. So I divided the iris into three equal parts and just marked where it's gonna be green, blue and brown. By the way guys, what is your eye color? I have hazel eyes, what about you? Answer in the comments. I filled in the pupil with black and started to give details to the iris. I must say it can be pretty challenging to draw, but uh, if you succeed drawing the iris, your drawing will definitely look great. So pay attention and don't rush. I'm adding some lines coming out of the pupil and out of the rim. They can be both straight and curved. And remember to uh, keep your pencil sharp. The top of the iris is usually darker because uh, of the lashes, well, because of the shadows they cast, uh, so use darker pencils for that area. Notice how I make sure the colors of the iris are overlapping. If you decide to only use one color for your eye, you won't experience this problem. But maybe it's not as fun as a rainbow eye like this one.
I blend the pencils using a blender pencil or an ordinary white pencil to make everything look more even and smooth. So I'm basically switching between three main colors. I'm making the rim darker and adding as much details and strokes as I think I should because it depends on um, only on your preferences, you know? I personally think the more details, the better, the more realistic it looks. Somewhere in the middle I'm drawing something uh, that reminds me of a heart rate, uh, but not that pointy. It's just uh, that kind of structure our iris has and uh, it, it would be great to draw it too. Uh, by the way, be careful with the reflection, keep it white. Let's move to the next color. Again, I start light and go darker and darker as I make the pattern of the iris. Basically, there is no perfect way to do this, but if you follow my example and practice, you will get better and better at drawing the pattern of the iris. It's time to draw the lashes! First of all, I have a great tutorial on how to draw lashes. Of course, I have tutorials about everything, but this one, like the lash tutorial, is really, really good. You can find the link down below as well. And right now, I'll explain how uh, to draw them briefly. Eyelashes are not straight at all. They're curved. Since the eyelid wraps around a curved object, the eyeball, you need to draw the lashes at different angles, like this. Also, lashes form in bundles and they don't grow in a straight row. There are several rows of lashes, like two or three. Remember that you can always go and take a look in the mirror at yourself uh, to see how long your lashes actually are.
we're almost done. We can leave it as it is or add uh, some minor changes and details when we see uh, like all of it together. The last step is to take a white jelly roll and add some wetness. I love this stage because I think it's, um, it really makes a difference, you know? I'm using it on the tear duct, along the lash lines and basically where I want. So this is the end of my tutorial, I'm sure you did great and if you want to show uh, your drawing to me, use this hashtag on Instagram and most likely I will see your work and maybe even give you a shout out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching till the end. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed watching it. Or dislike button if you didn't enjoy watching it. But anyways, I hope you will leave a comment or two and see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye!